Hey Garth, this this video is dedicated to you, Garth. Good talking to you. Is that shot in beer? Mmm, lemon, watermelon. So I'm gonna talk about a movie I watched earlier on YouTube. Oh, Garth, Invocator, Excursion Demise. I wanted to put on some. Uh, old school 90s thrash and they're pretty good and I'm gonna finish this <clears throat> so I watched Death Moon from 1978 Death Moon and it's a made for TV movie um it's about a guy that goes to Hawaii because his grandfather went there when I guess during the war, World War II, and the locals put a curse on the grandfather, which went down to his grandson, and he turns into a little werewolf. And uh it's pretty average, but I don't know, I like I like these old made for a TV horror movies. Someone commented, is a werewolf movie made for a housewife to watch during the day? And it kind of was, but at least, like, there's a lot of movies like this where someone's turning into a monster, but then you find out it's like all in their head, or it's actually like a, it actually is like a wolf attacking people, and someone's controlling it. <clears throat> this guy is act actually turns into the werewolf, and it looked okay. It kind of really looked like the 1940s Wolfman. Kind of also like the Paul Nashke werewolf, which is cool. Um, it's a TV, made for TV movie, so there's no gore. In fact, every time he attacks someone, like he'll, he'll, he'll come at the camera and it'll stop. It'll just go to the next scene. I didn't really care. They say like he ripped them apart, so you can imagine, you know, him ripping them apart. Uh, I can't in good conscience give it that high of a score but it was just, just something comforting about these old movies and I I would watch it again probably if I had a I had to watch it on YouTube but if I had an actual copy of it I think I would put it on it's like a just like I have a movie marathon of just like cheesy werewolf movies or just Uh, just 70s made for TV horror movies. There's something fascinating about them. And uh, let's see, was there any? There's a couple of moments where they flash, like stuff is flashing. You see some face. And that looked cool for like a split second. Um, yeah, it had, it had some kind of cool music. I thought the music was cool. Like the show The Moon had some creepy music playing. That was good, good atmosphere. That's the best I can... I'm trying to think of the best things I could say about Death Moon. Cool title, Death Moon. I'll give it two out of five Manos Hands of Fate. <coughs> also, at least, like, compared to a lot of movies, like, shit movies that come out today, it's it's a movie. It's actually a movie with actors and, and uh, filmmakers. Uh, costume, I mean, you know, not, they don't have costumes, but, you know, there's wardrobe and lighting. It's actually really dark on YouTube. But I'm not, it wasn't painful to sit through. It just, you just have to be in the mood for something like this, I guess. But, uh, Death Moon, yeah, that's about all I can say about it. I have so many movies that I've found on YouTube. Um, and I'm gonna watch them, and I'm gonna talk about them. So what else can I say? Um, oh yeah, my friend gave me this, this Bigfoot. It's just that's why I watched this because uh, it's a hairy monster that runs around and rips people to shreds. So I'll see. You. I'm gonna take that shot. See, see you, Garth. This one's for you.